Um, hello everybody. Welcome to Vintage Inspirations. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I finally get into my kitchen. I'm so happy. <laughs> Cause like, you know, when you start to clutter and you get exhausted and you just kind of stop. And then especially with my pain, like I'm in pain today, but I've been taking ibuprofen. I took a trauma, I mean trauma doll, a gabapentin last night. And so, and I've been on ice for about maybe 15 minutes. So I think I could manage. At least I had help, thank God, because I had to pull things from the top shelf. Let me see, see up there? I had to pull those things down. I had just had that guy down, that lamp, that horse TV lamp, and I just washed it, so that's good, so that can stay. And um, I cleaned the top. What else? And that stuff, that's the Christmas plate that I saved and that fruit basket. I don't know where it's going to go, but I think they're going to just stay right there because I don't want to part with either one of them. And then my flag. I got to pull the flag down and wipe that off too. And I need to clean like the front glass and then the side is wood, so I'll just dust it and polish it. Yeah. And all these cabinets got to get clean. This fridge is filthy. Look at the top of it. It's filthy. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, see, it's filthy. Oh my gosh. And... I don't know what that is over there. It looks like it got scratched by something, but I can fix that. I got those markers. I'll just color that in. And let me turn the camera around so you can see exactly what I'm doing, so I can show you better. Okay. Sorry about that. The camera just cut off by itself. I'm trying to push my hair up some. I think I'm going to start by washing a few things, so I'll let you uh, watch me do that. I don't, everybody don't know how to clean. And I'm using these, what are they called? Um, microfibers, yeah. Comes in like a pack of, I think, 12. They're really good for your car, that's what I buy them for. But when I'm scrubbing grease like this, I like to use them. And then I have some Dawn, of course. And I mixed up some, I didn't have any more of that um, Fabuloso, so I just I had bleach, so I just mixed up some bleach. So I'm just gonna spray. Spray the inside, the bottom of it, and let it sit for a second. Here's the other part. Oh, here's the other part. These are really gorgeous. I got the set together. It's uh, McCoy. Can you see that? It's really light blue. I don't know if you can see it. It says McCoy. I think you can see it. Yeah. I think the other one is better, too. Let me see. You can see this one. Oh, there, this one's light blue, too. <laughs> and you see it? It says McCoy. I, maybe the other one might be better, because I have two of these. Okay. And uh, my daughter bought this pink stuff, so I've been using it. It works really good. I'm going to use this old sponge that I had under the sink. Oh, I forgot to share with you guys. These things are really good. These scrubbing pad things, they are amazing. And um, I use these. These are great for doing your dishes. They're disposable. They're really, really great. I don't like to have rags laying around for a long time. So that's why I like those disposable things. Oh my gosh. Okay, Tony, let's not crackle. Did you hear that? That was like a hard bang. But they're so solid, they'll be just fine. And so I'm going to use some of this stuff. And this stuff is a lot abrasive, so to get that grease off. I wish I could get the camera over the sink a little. I think I could have did a better job. Wait till my, when I dry my hands, I'll change it a bit. If I can get a little over the sink a little bit more than that. The only thing I don't like doing this is it always slides out of my hand. Does that bother you? It feels so slippery. Oh my gosh. That's why I like to spray it, because th that takes off most of the grease. And I'm using cold water because it's summertime. If it was wintertime, I wouldn't be using cold water. Because it would be too cold to the touch. Yeah. But since it's summertime, we're going to run through cold water. Okay. And I almost parted with these in consignment. Not this time when I moved in here. And then I decided to keep them. Because I really don't use them, you know? Wow, that's nice and clean. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. What's that? 
got some smudge on it. You see that? I don't know what that is. But this should take it off. No, it's not coming off. Well, maybe that's a permanent mark. I don't know. You know, sometimes you leave things in your kitchen. They get all worn out from the, from the grease. I don't remember that mark being here before, but it's not coming off. It's like... And maybe this will work. This is Brillo. Sometimes you scrub something and you mess it up, so it's on being real gentle. No, it doesn't want to come off. Okay, so I guess that's it. That's there. I can feel it though, but it doesn't want to come off, whatever it is. I don't remember it being in. Okay, so that's one. Let me dry my hands and move that camera over just a bit. Make sure I'm filming. Yes. Okay. I think I can put it like that. Yeah, that's a little that better with I want it this sink. <laughs> oh. oh no. Jeez. I wish I had a cameraman. I really do. <laughs> you know, some people do videos and they don't have to worry about stuff like that. They have somebody helping them do that. Let's see if this label's any better. Oh yeah, this one might be better. It's not as blue as the other one. Can you see it? It says McCoy. Yeah. McCoy USA. <coughs> oh, that bleach is a bit strong. Oh my gosh. What you can do too, like you can put this sponge down here and then just sit that there to give you some cleavage so you can scrub it so it doesn't slip out your hand. That's a great tip I learned a while back just from cleaning these type of things when I was in resale I had to come up with something because man I would drop a few things. And I'm assuming these are to wash up with. And you do the same thing. I got the thing down there to support it so it's not so slippery. Because these are like pitcher and bowls, right? So aren't they to wash up with? Like back in the Victorian period, didn't they use these to wash up with? I, I think so. Because you wouldn't throw food in here, right? And the only reason why I'm not soaping these up because that spray is taking off all the grease. So that made it so much easier. See how shiny it is? That's very shiny. So I put the cam over here. I hope you don't hear that fan. That fan's annoying. I'm so sorry, but it's hot. So the fan's way on the other side. I hope it doesn't come through. There's no way I can be in here without it. <laughs> and see, these are white, but they have a blue tone to them. It's like a sky blue. I don't know if it's coming through, but it's like a, a sky blue undertone. Called soup terrains. It's cute. It has a little lion on either side with the lad the ladder ladle. Even the ladle. And then there's a line on the handle. Let's see who makes this. I don't remember. Oh, it's no name. No name. Yeah. So we never know who made it. I'm sure if you Google it, it'll come on Google. You just take a picture of it and it'll come right on Google. Well, uh, I don't even really have to do the inside because the inside's not dirty. It's just on the outside that grease. My goodness. Yeah, it's a little better shot, right? Okay, much better. This 
one was really greasy. My goodness. Woo. It's really, really greasy. And so I haven't done this in a while because I haven't had no one in the house. So I have help now. That's why I'm taking advantage and doing it. This is really beautiful to serve guests <laughs> when you're making soup, homemade soup. I don't know why it has the hole, but I'm assuming you have the option to hang it up. That's why they have that. Yeah. I just like to keep it inside the terrain. I never separate them. Now once I do this, I have a few more drawers to do, and then I really wanted to do that back room, but I don't know. I'm really tired. The rest might have to wait to another five or six months from here, and maybe when I, I don't know, do a spring clean next year. I've been in so much pain. Oh my God. So much pain. And I tend to turn my water off because I have to pay for water. these guys. Put a couple in the sink. I think this one still has a little bit of flour in it. <laughs> Can this go down the sink? I don't know. I'm going to pour it in here and then put it in the trash. I don't know. I don't want to clog up my sink. Oops. Okay. See who makes these Sango Ivy Charm. Sango Ivy Charm. This was a recent find. I hadn't had these too long. Like when I moved here, I didn't have these. I had a whole nother set. But you know, I love ivy leaves. So the other ones I the other set I had was gorgeous too, but I always wanted some ivy leaf canisters. And even though these were missing a top. I still bought them. I just couldn't resist them. They look so cute. So it was funny that day I had everybody in the store trying to find the other top because the canisters weren't all together. I think I found one here and then two there and then another one somewhere else. So I don't know if someone separated it because they didn't want someone to buy it and they was trying to come back at a later date to purchase it. Because people do that at the thrift store. They'll separate stuff. So if you find something you like, and you're looking for the match, take your time and look around. Nine out of ten, you'll find it. It has happened to me a lot of times. But it was so funny. I had everybody, two employees and a customer, helping me look for all the canisters. And so we had three. And then another man said, I found another one. I was so happy because then I had four. But then we were missing tops. And the tops weren't even with the, with the canisters either. So I think somebody really separated because the... The, the employees said that they would have put them together, at least a couple of them, you know? And then when you restock and you remember that it's there, so you would just put it back, but... So we never found the fourth top. And so there was a lady, the, 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 um, the, um, the other customer that was helping me uh, look for them, she wanted this. So that's why she was helping me look, because I kept telling her if I don't find all the pieces, I won't take them home. She said she'll take it as it is, because she loved it. So that's why she stayed with me the whole time. So then at the end, I was like, you know what, I'm going to put them back, because I couldn't find the other top. And then um, the employee said, so you could put a plant in one and just make it like decorative. I was like, that's a great idea. So then the lady was so mad, because she really wanted them. <laughs> 
So that's what I do. I put like a little clear inside one. The one that doesn't have the top. And I'll show you in just a minute. And I'll show you in just a minute. And what I like about them is they have a nice material where they clean so nice. You know? Yeah, they clean really nice. That flower stuck down in there from trying to get it out. I think I just got all of it here. Okay. Did you see how thick that is in porcelain? It's beautiful. Yes, very well made. So easy to clean. It, it looks like they're brand new. Why would I leave them? Okay. <laughs> guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I've been wanting to clean this kitchen for so forever. You know, with my disability, I just can't do a big cleaning like this. I'll be in so much pain doing it myself. Yep. And I think this is the one that doesn't have a top, right? Yeah. This the, the second to the largest one. But you see how the insides are? They're beautiful. There's something still in here. It's like cookies or something. Yeah. If you're going to get kitchen supplies, try to get them like this. So easy to clean that grease just slides right off. Everything's like brand spanking new. sometimes you're in the store and you feel sorry for people like I had wanted to give this to that lady so bad but I love this so much <laughs> and I'm so glad I kept it because I'm still in love with it but they're all the same all like brand new and remember I'm using cold water That's the name of it, Sango, Sango Ivory Charm, the dishwasher oven, microwave oven safe. So they're not uh, terribly old, they're gorgeous, so they made them so well. Uh, they're definitely, uh, you know, vintage things are coming up, dishwasher oven, microwave oven safe. It's a different wording because it doesn't say uh, dishwasher safe. And then microwave safe. It says dishwasher oven, microwave oven safe. That's a little older than just the normal stuff. Because remember, microwave's been out for a minute now. Those big ones, that's best to get in the uh, workplace. Okay. So I'm going to spray the inside. issue you see that that ring it was a little yellowish but I had soaked these when I got and they come off they just it's a suction cup I took them off and soaked them in bleach overnight so there is nothing wrong with it it's just I guess whoever had something stored in there or uh, it, it stained it maybe they had cornmeal or maybe grease who knows yeah but if you buy something like this these come out take them out and make sure you put them back properly because they're different sizes. So make sure you don't mix them up. Like you see, these are all white, but this is the only one that was yellow. The only issue I had with this is that bleach really, really cuts all that grease. <laughs> really good. And remember, you, you, you use these all the time, so you have that stickiness that's on the handle. 
So make sure you clean them. Even if you don't deep clean them, you know, you got to wipe them off from, you know, when you clean your dishes, you're supposed to clean stuff like this too. People think when they do dishes, they just do the dishes and leave the kitchen. No, you have to wipe stuff down, especially the uh, handle to the refrigerator and like the sink handle and stuff like this. You can do that on when you ever you clean up when you're doing dishes. Like it's a daily routine, man. Yeah. Aren't they gorgeous? They are beautiful, solid pieces. Now, if this falls, I'm sure it may crack. <laughs> and I believe, I truly believe that's what happened to the other one. I truly believe that's why it wasn't, that's why someone donated it, because the other one cracked. Isn't they beautiful? You guys know I love stuff with this ivory on it. I just love it. Okay, what else can we do? I want to do this. This sits on top of my sink it's to make tortillas. Yeah. And uh, it is so greasy. Oh my gosh. Which is good because it's cast iron, but it's just extra, extra grease. So it's time for a nice bath. And then I'm going to re oil it and hang it back up. And you have to keep them oiled because they are uh, turned to rust. So it's kind of good that it's sitting over the sink because it stays oil, but it's just too much oil caked up. And I think this will get it all. But I don't want to use that. I want to use this one. Oops. Oh my God, it's so greasy. <laughs> wow, you can feel it. Like the inside wasn't greasy because that part was hidden. I don't remember where I got this. I've had it for a long time. I had a lot and I only kept this one when I moved here. They were all different, you know, styles. But I kept this one because this one was functional. You could actually cook with it. The other ones were just decorative. You know, just, you are. Uh, they were just made to hang up. I guess I said that wrong. I had other ones that were just cast iron hanging. They weren't even, what is this called? A Tatil? Australia Talleries Industrials, made in Mexico. when I parted with the other ones. And then I had one similar too, if I don't if I'm not mistaken. It's tough. It's hard when you gotta part with stuff. It's really hard. But um, I don't make a lot of stuff like that anymore because it's not healthy for you. You know, the, the dough, yeah. At least not for me. I can't digest it. Okay, that came out clean. What else can I do? Um, let me move this out the way. I guess I can wash this. This is what I got recently. It's gorgeous. It's that beautiful milk glass. It's got that blue tint to it, too. I had to make, I really wanted to uh, take this to the consignment shop, this piece here. But I just got it and I really like it, you know. I feel like I'm going to use it, like with my Christmas skate display or something, you know. So, it's a cake platter. Those beautiful ladies gifted it to me. So. <laughs> yes, I still have it, I know. I did get rid of that punch bowl though. That punch bowl, that glass one, that beautiful glass one. Yeah, I gave it to the guy who helped me put that uh, screen door in. He liked it, so I blessed him with it. Still cherish it. Remember the glass bowl was like pink and white and it had the little bowl that said the anchor hockey? I think it was like anchor hockey. Had that beautiful 
that metal rack that you sit on it. It's like chip and dip balls. That was to die for. And I always wanted one of those hinges to set your chip and dip bowls up. And I gave it away. Well, you know, I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll find another one. Yeah. I guess we'll clean this. I have the silver polish. Where's it at? Okay, right here. Yeah. And this is a large, large serving platter. I don't remember who makes it. Oh, it's so stained. You can't even see the name. I can see it, but I can't make it out. Maybe after we clean it. I don't think I'm going to clean the bottom. In fact, I'm hurting. I really need to pause and come back. Jesus. But I think I'm going to just do this one. And then I'll pause. I'll use this. And I'm using the same product that I always use for sterling, Hagrid Teeth. I wish I had a cabinet to put this in because it gets so tarnished. Oh. I used to keep this on my round wooden table, my antique, but I no longer do that. It just sits on the refrigerator. Maybe I'll put it back because it didn't tarnish. It tarnishes more in the kitchen. Got maids, let them do this because this is a lot of work. And I used to have my friend come and help me, and uh, not necessarily a friend, she just used to clean things. The prices are so high, oh my gosh! <laughs> and she helped me with my son's room that last time, and oh my gosh, she charged so much, I just can't afford to have her back. She normally does stuff like this for me, but, you know, my house is better, too, so. So, I'm going to use this because it's so big. Hope I don't spray my phone. <laughs> I'm going to rinse the middle off, and then I'm going to polish the rim again. stuff on here okay since I have some left this is so awkward for me I'm really pushing myself right now I want to stop you're almost done Tanya you're almost done a little bit more of this cleaner I didn't want to do the back side but why not because I don't know when the next time I'm going to do this so I better do it now while I have it out careful with your feet you could actually scrub them more so I tend not to even wash the feet rub some on because this is really you could tell the backside hadn't been done in a while it's really tarnished oh my gosh oh <laughs> Not like my arm hurts where I had my surgery because I'm just standing like this. Yeah. Let me see, where's the, the name? Let's see, it is here somewhere. Yeah. 
hiding. <laughs> it's hiding. Okay, that's enough. I made a mess. like a basement sink. Those are really nice. I had that in the house I lived in before. I loved it. I could do my gardening in there and everything. You need a big sink like that. Or, you know, you can even take this in your backyard, too, and get it cleaned up. camera but I can't monitor everything this is really uh, awkward you know I'm just really trying to get it done so if I'm blocking a shot I do apologize yeah. so this is done but anytime I polish silver I go over it with soap and water it's a little tip that microfiber on the sterling so you just may scratch it you need some mild soap just soap it up and it, it makes it even shinier it does what the polish couldn't do <laughs> yeah. oh gosh I gotta rinse this off too oh no I'm exhausted <laughs> I really am I know this tray is saying thank you so much. We needed a bag. Oh. Let me see if I could do it another way. Because that other way is pain in my abdomen. Yeah. Okay, I just found out another way. I was stressing myself out for nothing, spraying it. So you can just go like this. Yeah. Oh, that's right, because you have to spray that off. Uh, Foam off, that's right. This wouldn't work for that. You know, the spray is more uh, stronger. Yeah, that's why I'm using that. Okay. So soapy. <laughs> See how shiny it is? Yeah, that's a tip. A lot of people don't know that when you're doing the silver and you soak them up. I mean, if you need a sink. Cause like if I'm polishing in a chair, I'm not going to rinse with soap because I'm not there. But sometimes when I'm done, I'll bring them all to the sink and then just soak them up really quick. Okay, that's the best this is going to get done. find your name. I think it's Sheffield, I think. I can remember. I can't remember what everything is named or okay. See how beautiful that came out? Wow. <laughs> you can actually see it. So it's a beautiful platter. Um where's the name? I don't see it. it's here. Oh here it is, okay. It says Sheridan, Sheridan, and it's got some marks. It's gorgeous. Okay. And I wonder why you couldn't see it. It's so little. You see that? I didn't know. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. It's right there. Yeah, you can see it. <laughs> see it right there? So little, that's why they were so tarnished. Okay, guys. I gotta go sit down.
<laughs> I'm hurting real bad. Oh my God, this is the life of Tanya. I can't do what I want. Like, I want to continue. I used to do this whole thing in one hour and be done. Not anymore. Not anymore. Okay, so when I come back, I got some more things to wash right here. This candy dish, I wash that. It's not, um, what's I, it's not waterproof. At least I don't think it is. It doesn't have a mark. It could clearly be waterproof, but I don't think, nah, I don't think waterproof makes a print like that. I don't think so, but it's made very well. Very nice piece of crystal. And I got that from a thrift store some years back. And I want to clean this. This is what I use to store my utensils by the sink. It's a gorgeous vintage vase. I love these. It has a crack. Not a crack, a chip, you see right here, but it never bothered me. It happened one day I was, uh, I used to do a lot of flowers and stuff years ago when I was working. And it chipped, I was washing it one day, but it never bothered me. I just, it doesn't ever cut me or nothing. I just loved the uh, design on it so much, I just always kept it. It has those cute, you know, you guys see me pick stuff like this all the time in the thrift store, especially those green ones. I love that type of stuff for your flowers. Okay, so when we come back, um... I'll have those things that we just washed put back in place, and then we'll continue washing a few more, and then we'll wash the top cabinets and the countertops. I'll show you how to do it. Now, I'm not doing it, okay, because that's too much for me, but I want to show you how it's done, and other people don't want to be in my video, so I'll just show you, just to give you the tip, and then we'll end the video. So let me pause this. Yes. So, um, I tried to rest. <laughs> Um, then I came in here and started doing a few things and I'm all hot, but, um, I don't, I can't really like film myself. It's just so difficult. I'm not, you know, I need a cameraman. I really do. If I have any volunteers, you know, I think I need to get monetized first so they can get paid. But, okay, so I have this bleach with soap in it because it cuts the grease. So you put the dish detergent in here, it really cuts the grease. And I already did the refrigerator because I had to get pulled out. But um, what I'll do is I'll just spray. And I try to get the top cabinet and the counter so you just see the bottom. Just spray. And you should do this when you move into any type of rental. I mean, of course, if you're going to buy a house, you got to clean too. But normally when they buy houses, they renovate. So, But if you move into any type of apartment or rental house, or even if you're buying a house, don't use your stuff washing first. You should degrease it. So that's what I made, degrease it with bleach and uh, soap. And like I said, I did this when I moved in, of course. And you just spray. Clean up underneath the cabinet too. Give it a little spray. And then you spray your countertop. Let everything sit for a few minutes. We tend to spray... <coughs> And we like to wipe right away. <coughs> it won't do what it needs to do. You need to spray it and let it sit. Yeah. I hope that fan's not bothering you because I gotta have it on. Let me start to put it down. Yeah, that might be less. Yeah, much better. Okay, sorry about that, guys. And then we're gonna spray this one on the side too. The countertops and then underneath. And then the and you mostly spray the cabinets where you touch. So like you open it like that, make sure you spray that area. Yeah. Okay, so we'll let that sit. We're going to do the bottom too, but I'm not doing that until tomorrow because I can't do everything in one day. And then you just wash. See how it's sudsy? Can you see the soap? Yeah, see? <laughs> like I said, I'm not doing this. I'm just trying to show you how it's done. Okay. They look shiny. They look really, really shiny because they were filthy. And then you just run it underneath here. And then you wash the wall. Wash it really good, and then you can do this too. And you have to clear the whole area, to move everything. 
Now for the countertop, let me show you what I normally use. You want to have something with some scrub. I'm going to use this. I normally use Ajax, but this is what I have. So, And I do have some Ajax, but I don't feel like pulling it out. You want something like an abrasive so it can scrub and get into the crevices because this is an old countertop. <laughs> so and what I do is I put this on top to support it so you have a stronger scrub. And just scrub. See how you're getting into, yeah, this is what you definitely do is when you move in and of course when you're spring cleaning. So I'm going to stop because like I said, I'm not doing this. I'm hurting myself a lot, but I wanted to show you. So we're going to do the whole area. And I guess he'll do the bottom now too because he ain't going to get tired. So I guess he'll do that. We already cleaned the refrigerator. And um, so when I come back, let me wash my hands real quick. <laughs> So that silver platter looks so beautiful. I don't want to put it back on top of the refrigerator. I don't. I want to like leave it out. It's so beautiful. So maybe I will just for a little bit, you know. But I'm going to turn the camera around so I can show you. So I can show you what I've done so far. So you see how everything looks nice and shiny? It's so clean. And I'm even going to take this guy off. Because bugs get trapped in there. And you see like a whole bunch of black things. It's clean now because I cleaned it recently. And don't forget, if you have that, it unscrews just a little screw. Just get your step stool, take it down, be careful because they break. It's glass. And then just run it, spray it, and, and use uh, dish detergent, and then stick it, let it dry, or, or hand dry, and stick it right back up there. They always catch bugs. And it's a good thing I don't have a lot of bugs because it's hardly, I don't see hardly anything up there, which is a, a blessing because it used to be full. And so everything's clean. I didn't get to that yet. I got to do that. Those I just put up there. I cleaned them before I put it up. But I got to pull that flag down and clean it. Yeah. So I'm going to continue this. And I don't know if you can see. You see how beautiful and clean it comes, brings it back to the original wood. It's so beautiful when you do that. And then we're going to shine them with some furniture polish. I bought that light furniture polish. I'm going to be using that because this is a light color wood. And then you can see how it's scrubbing. Yet scrubbing. Like I say, you want to use Brillo or Ajax and something with some bleach and soap in it to cut all of that. Yeah. And see, this kitchen I never painted. It needs to be painted. I painted almost all the rooms, but I didn't paint the kitchen in my room. It was just too much. I just did a few. I think I painted the. Uh, what did I paint? Um, hi everyone. Um, I just decided to just show the result now, so I can just end the video. And I was thinking I can do like a before and after. Maybe that video will get a lot of views because <laughs> my poor channel is struggling. <laughs> it was so boring. Um, so we didn't polish the cabinets yet because they're still drying. Well, that'll be next. But everything looks so clean. I'm very, I'm extremely happy. I'm not done yet. I still got a sweep and mop. I could manage that. But you see the walls, they're so clean. Everything's degreased. Cleaned all underneath. And this thing is, this thing back here was filthy. That's why I wanted to wash it so much better this is a little mug that i just use it's a stage day. i use it when i need water and uh here yeah, even cleaned the stove so um it looks much better than me i'm just going to polish the cabinets i could manage that i could do a step stool and just do a little each day i think i can manage that but the main thing was getting that grease off the top and we did wipe the baseboard up there. You know, you spray up there, it'll get rid of all the grease and the buildup. And like I said, do that before uh, uh, before you move, after you, you know, when you move in. Yeah, if you move in a rental place. So um, I still haven't gotten to this. That's going to have to be done tomorrow. I got to decide what I'm going to keep. It's just a blender, a microwave, air fryer, some paper plates, a lamp, and that coffee machine. And I got to put the uh, platters back that I took down. All of this is cleaned and disinfected. It's all clean. Make sure you scrub back there because it turns moldy back there. It moldy uh, mold builds up, so make sure you spray back there with that bleach. That's why I use bleach this time. When you're doing stuff like this, you need bleach. But that fabulous showing that dawn works good too. 
And then I got to wash this. This was on top of the refrigerator. It's really greasy, and I got to wash that. But I'm tired, so uh, we've done enough. And uh, I just wanted to show you, you know, the results. So I'm getting there. I'm pretty much done and I just got to sweep and mop the whole house and then I'll, the house will be really, really, really clean. You know, I always keep my bathrooms disinfected so that I don't even have to do that. So here's the reveal and I had music playing but YouTube keeps saying it's a copyright when it's their music that I'm choosing so I'm confused. I got to inquire about that. I really wish I had somebody to help me with the uh, video and... um like the cameraman because this is stressful <laughs> but god bless and i hope you enjoy please don't forget to leave comments god bless you so so clean thing looks beautiful okay